Well, what a day! But enough of life's little annoyances. We are on! We are at Home Circuits. I'm at home. This is Home Circuits. I'm Rob. And we're doing strength and conditioning workout from your home using home equipment. So if you can't get out to the gym for whatever reason, I'm here. You're there. We can do a workout. That's what it's all about. Anyway, let's get warmed up. And while we're warming up, I'll explain what we're going to do today. Hopefully I have a little whistle or a buzzer to tell me what's going on. New timer. That's why I was late. Nope. Anyway, got a light. Just keep having to look at the light. Anyway, okay, jogging on the spot for a minute. So today, we are going to progress the exercise that we've been doing every Wednesday for the last couple of weeks. We are going to move on to 50 seconds of each exercise. So we're going to do 50 seconds of each exercise within those circuits. Those circuits involve two separate exercises, apart from the first one which we're just alternating between legs on those Bulgarian split squats, giving the game away now. Okay, let's go into elbow to knee. So as I say, just getting the heart rate up, bringing circulation going. For a timer that's got an oh, it's talking to me. All right, okay. Listen for the talking. Just a little bit of running around the spot, and then we're going to go into toe touches. So touch the toes, opposite toes to opposite feet, and then point and look up towards the ceiling. So we're getting that little twist in the torso as we use that hip hinge. Try and push those hips forwards with your glutes, the power of these big pump muscles. Excellent. Okay, so next exercise we're going to do is reverse lunges. So a big step forward, or should I say a big step back, and drop that back knee to the floor. 15 seconds of reverse lunges, keep it going, warming the lower body. Okay, it's those flies now, so opening that chest right up and warming those shoulders. That's the most important thing that we're doing here. Front and rear delts, getting the blood and the circulation into those tendons and ligaments in that multi directional joint, which is the shoulder. Keep it going. Excellent. Okay, let's go into crossing at the top and crossing at the bottom. So we're going into those side raises. Again, warming those shoulders. Keep it going. So this is just a warm up, just getting that heart rate up, breathing circulation, warming the joints, warming the muscles, getting the body ready for exercise. And then we'll be moving into, excellent, okay, so we'll be moving into the workout. So we're going to go shoulder press. And in that workout, as I say, four circuits to do today. Super setting. Between two exercises with limited rest. The idea is that it's a metabolic circuit, a bit of strength conditioning, but most important, getting that breathing, that circulation going, getting that muscle endurance, and burning some calories. Three, two, one, let's... Excellent, okay, so shake it off. Two, one, Another couple of exercises just to finish off. We're gonna go walkouts. So bending the hips, walking all the way out, flat to the floor, press back up walking back in. Keep that bum up in the air, keep it going. 
Flat to the Can't floor, press it. back up, walking back in. Keep it going, keep moving. If you just join built, don't worry, this is just the warm up, so just dive straight in. I say that, we've finished the warm up now. <laughs> so, next one, next little bit. Now we're into the workout. I'm gonna bring you round just so that I'm not out of shot. And then this is where it all goes wrong. This is 80% charge, so I can just do that. Just gonna have a little play on the timer while I talk to you about uh, about what we're doing next. So today the intervals are increasing. So the interval of time that you're doing your workout for is increasing. We started on week one at 30 seconds. Then week two last week we were at 40 seconds. This week we are doing each exercise for 50 seconds. So we're not progressing the weight because we're training from home. We're not progressing the reps because then you don't have to like ride down stuff and keep locks. All we're doing is progressing the time in which you have, to have an opportunity to do as many controlled reps as the exercise as you can. So hopefully that makes sense. And we're doing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We can get eight rounds in. Let's just uh, right there. See if we can make this louder. This is a uh, this is a new app. You may have noticed <laughs> due to the fact that I'm messing about. Right then, let's give this a go. Right then, 10 seconds to get set. We're doing Bulgarian split squats. So I'll just rotate that. Uh... Excellent, so hopping out, have your foot elevated on a footstool, on a sofa, whatever comes to hand, or foot in this case. And then all you're doing is pushing those hands out as you lower that back knee towards the floor. So rear foot elevated split squats or Bulgarian split squats is our first exercise. We are going to alternate each 50 seconds with, between sides. So halfway through the first side, push those hands out in front. Helps with the balance, keeps that torso up nice and straight. Dropping that back knee towards the floor. Keep it going. It's 50 seconds, so it's really challenging your muscle endurance. Giving you plenty of time to get reps in. Five seconds, shake it off, then we're going to the other side. Let's go for it. Bulgarian split squat and we are all we're doing in this circuit is changing sides so four sets each side got 20 seconds left keep it going Excellent, so shake it off, swap it sides, back in. So you should now be on the leg that you started with. So how to make a squat more challenging without adding weight or using resistance? Do it on one leg. Keep it going. We've got 10 seconds to go on this leg. 
and then we're swapping sides. So this is about the point where you should start feeling that heart rate going on. That endurance creeping in, swap sides. Let's go for it. Almost halfway through already though. Keep it going, keep moving. Keep beeping on me. New timer tells me when I'm halfway through. Great. <laughs> As many quality rear foot elevated split squats as you can the time that you have. Check it off. Okay, we're back into rear foot elevated split squats again. Shouting. 
which is unfortunate. Just let me dive out of the way and grab a drink. You can too if you want. Right. So I'll pull you round. Just so I can alter this timer again. Right, it's back to normal, that's good. I like that. Next one, next exercises, next circuit. We are. You don't want to see my fire guard. Right, okay. We are into press ups and towel pull. This is where you need a little bit of equipment. I have down here my trusty resistance band. If you don't have a trusty <laughs> resistance band, just grab a towel. Clues in the name, towel pull. If you grab a towel, it's just as good as this band, it just doesn't stretch. You don't need it to stretch for this, you just need to use it to space those arms apart. I'll tell you what, I'll give you a demonstration. So, forget your towel for a second, unless you need to go and run and grab one, in which case, go run and grab one. Um, first exercise is press ups. If you've done these before, well, obviously you've done press-ups before. I've done these with me before. It is making a triangle. So you make a triangle with your head and your hands. Three points of the triangle. One, two, three. Hands in line with shoulders. It looks something like this when you go into high plank position. So, high plank position on the top of your press-up wants to look something like this, with your head being the highest point. And then all you're going to do is lower yourself down and then press back up. If you can't do a full press up, drop to your knees, do kneeling press ups, but there's still a straight line that runs from the back of your neck to the back of your knees. And then all you're doing is pivoting on those knees. One or the other. Once we've done 50 seconds of that exercise, we move to the towel pole. This is where you need your towel or your band. And all we're going to do is lay flat on the floor, Hyper extension, arch in the back, hips pushed into the floor, feet and hands raised off the floor, and then you're squeezing those shoulder blades together as you roll in. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. I'll just come further back, see if I can get more in shot. So, feet in the air, hands in the air, stretch, squeeze those shoulder blades together, and as you pull in towards the chin and the top of your chest. Stretch. Squeeze, yeah? So that's your two exercises. This one is really good for posture and shoulders. It's working all these muscles running down here, which are responsible for pulling your shoulder, the ball of your shoulder joint back and helping with any shoulder discomfort. Learn something new every day. Something that I need to do a lot of if you look at my posture. My normal posture is like that with my shoulder rolled forward a little bit. I've been working on that to bring those shoulders back. I digress. Just playing for time so I can have a little bit more of a rest. Anyway, circuit two, press ups, towel pull. Right, what is uh, going on here? Oh, I don't want that. Great. Um, Okay, so let's just see if I can find another timer because that one isn't working. So, bear with me a second. Sorry, 50 seconds of each exercise. We're starting off with those press ups. So, high plank position. When you're ready, away we go. So, we're all the way down and all the way up. 50 seconds of press ups. Keep it going. Keep it going, keep moving. 
moving. Excellent, okay. So, 50 seconds reached. We are going into straight into towel pulls. Push those feet into the foot, hips into the floor, arch in the back, stretch, and then squeeze those shoulder blades together. Keep it going.
Wow. Right then, five seconds. We're back into those towel pulls. Shake it off. It's round three. We've got one more round to go after this. Let's go for it. trying to alter this timer again. Nightmare timer. Grab a drink if you need it. Right then. Let's keep going how we're going. Right then, so next exercise. I'll just bring you back over here. find some resistance. So, me being me, absolutely no prior warning whatsoever. Hopefully you've got some sort of resistance or some sort of weighted piece of equipment. It could be if you're posh, weight plates or dumbbells. If you're not too posh and you haven't got them knocking around your house, I mean who has that sort of stuff knocking around the house? or in the garage. Uh, 
um, grab hold of a couple of bottles of pop or a couple of pop bottles filled with water. That's a bit more sensible because if you start shaking those pop bottles, they're just going to go off. It's going to explode everywhere. So you don't want that. So anything with any form of resistance, a couple of beans tins, anything like that. Hopefully I've rambled on really for enough time for you to go grab something like that. And all it is for, is for just creating a bit of resistance doing those reverse lunges, which is the first exercise for circuit three. Feet shoulder width apart. All you're gonna do is just step back and drop that back knee, stand back up. Alternate that knee, that leg that you step back with and drop that back knee. So, that is your reverse lunge for 50 seconds. Alternating reverse lunges for 50 seconds, should I say. And then we're going to put those plates to the side. Pardon me. And we're going to see how many pulse squats we can do for 50 seconds. Pulse squats is just pulsing above and below parallel. So parallel is where your hips are in line with your knees. Just there. So the first um, exercise is as many reverse lunges as you can do in 50 seconds. Second exercise is as many pull squats as you can do in 50 seconds. So when we're ready, grab hold of that resistance. Incidentally, if you haven't got any resistance, it doesn't matter. Just do the body weight reverse lunges. And the same goes if you find it hard to do lunges. Get rid of the weight. Put the weights down. Do with body weight, yeah? So, let's go for it then. 50 seconds, reverse lunges. Away we go. Well done. Excellent. So get rid of those weights. Pulse squats, Lex. When we're ready, 50 seconds. See how many you can do. Get rid of 
weights, well done. Keep it going, keep moving. We're back into those pull squats. Woo, big deep breaths. Away we go. Oh, rest when you need it. These ones really get me.
Okay, five seconds, shake it off, big deep breaths. We're going into those last set pull squats. When you're ready, 50 seconds, as many pull squats as you can do. And then rest for five seconds in between. I'm going for tens. Oh. Okay, we're halfway through. Keep it going. Okay, we've got 10 seconds left. Shake it off if you're resting. Go again, keep moving to the end. Oh, well done. Shake it off. Grab a drink if you need it. Well, back to the camera now. It's all going to pop right. Okay, big deep breaths. Last circuit is all about the abs, all about the frontal core. We are doing leg raises in set sit ups. To demonstrate the exercise, you go on the floor or find somewhere where you can see me. Somewhere like, like that. Flat down on the floor, hands underneath your bum, pull those abs tight, smaller your back into the floor, chin into chest, and then you are raising and lowering those legs for as many times as you can in 50 seconds. That's your first exercise. Second exercise, we're going to go straight into straight leg sit-ups, which is almost like the opposing exercise. So you brace and lower your legs, and now you're going to raise and lower your torso. So hands go behind your head, touch the floor behind you, and then bring those hands over your head, reach towards the tips of your toes. As many as you can in 50 seconds. And we're going to go four times round. Little breather to get yourself set. Just going to go out, grab another little drink. Warm in here today. All right. Okay, let's go for it. Last circuit. We're hitting the abs today. First exercise is those leg raises. When you're in position, let's go for it. 50 seconds.
on, keep moving. Ten seconds left. Well done. Little breather. You can lay flat on the floor or you can sit up straight, support your back. Big deep breaths. Okay, into those leg raises. Second round. 50 seconds. Keep it going. Oh, that's when the ass grab up. Oh. Do as many as you can in the time that we have. There's, there's no shame in having a rest and then going again. That's what it's all about. Just as many reps as in, in the time that we have. Oh, climbing. Little reps. Find those reps that you can do that you can hold yourself to. Oh, I'm doing it in five. Ten seconds left. Keep it going. Whoa. Okay. Five seconds rest. Straight legs up. Let's go for it. Well, <laughs> grab a rest when you need it, keep it going. Halfway, halfway through those 50 seconds, keep it going.
Yep, everything's failing today. Where's the music gone? Keep it going, straight leg setups. Hopefully we get some music. If we don't. Right. 25 seconds to go, halfway through the Australian steps. Keep it going. timer up. Tried to load another one up. Wanted me to pay some money. Tried to pay some money. Oh, while doing a workout with you. <laughs> so it didn't quite work. But hopefully we've got a good workout in. I shall have a timer <laughs> working for you on Saturday. And we shall go through some home circuits again. Well, Saturday we've got our second workout of the week. 50 seconds of each exercise, building it up. And then next week, we drop it back down to 30 seconds. You either notice that you can do these exercises easier, as we have been training them for the past three weeks, or I'll help you progress those exercises. Make them more challenging. And you can notice the progression that way. But between now and then, make sure you try out as many classes as you can on 3D Leisure at Home, the live class group, and I shall see you on Saturday at 10. Well done. <laughs> 